nothing I can remember anymore. I, I, I was there at one time, yeah. Where's the bobbin at? It's toting old grain in a printed sack. The dust blows forward and the dust blows back. And the wind blows black through the sky. And the smokestack blows up in the sun's eye. What am I gonna die? The white flake never blows just blue by. Bubbles pop big. And a lipstick You had to make it a bad trip. 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 You
make it a bad trip. You have to make it a bad trip. 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 A bad trip.
you operative? Are you operative? At, At the same, same time, his desperate plea is to allow corrective surgery for a large number of dead and wounded, fighting in basements and hallways. Convicted killer President Reagan, on the second day on the witness stand, in declaring, I had no reason to lie. States baby Jane Doe is, did you lie? No, I had no reason to lie. Did you lie? No, I had no reason. Did you lie? Did you lie? Did you lie? No, I had a half a foot of snow. You lie. 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 the shots at the president and we must repeat again now we're told the president was hit we're told the president was hit was hit was hit 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 And she is Jodie Foster. The world can't touch us. Society can't bring us down. Jodie can't ignore history. Slams the president into the back seat. And I think politicians are always attracted to people. That. On what insanity, so called insanity, insanity, so called insanity, insanity, so called insanity, insanity, so called insanity. To me, it's un American. Absolutely un American. Psychiatric opinions concerning dangerousness are just fraught with error. There's no reliable, reliable scientific validity in a doctor's prediction of future dangerousness. government is anyway. It is a depoliticization, a diffusing, a robbing of meaning of what's going on. 
You know, half the people in America are taking tranquilizers so they shouldn't know what's going on, and the other half believe in psychiatry. It is a massive self-narcotization, stupefication. <laughs>
The symbolic beer can washes up on the beach, created by the collapse of wave functions. It keeps showing up again and again, again and again. The symbolic beer can washed up on the beach, created by the wave collapse of of waves, functions, keep showing up again and again. Persistence of vision, flashback redundancy, redundant reality, industrial operations, random images out of context, research and development, unusual experimental procedures. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the true sound of terror, nightmare of terror. This is the true sound of terror. <laughs> Many of us live it, still others remember it. Jump on his chest, the rib is gonna go through his heart, huh? The urge to kill. Urge to kill. Kill. Hi, hello? Hello? Hi. Did I wake you? Nah, nah, I, I was, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't asleep. Are you operating heavy machinery? Of what sort? Of Wait. heavy machinery. Of what sort? Oh. Um, caterpillars. Caterpillars. Um, tractors. German tanks. Would you be interested in a message from MSU? Sure. Do you know what MSU is? Do you know what the Associated Students of Montana State University and 0345? <laughs> no, what? They're on the mic stand. Uh. And, they've, and they've been on the stand for quite some time. Is that where you at? Are you at the station now? I'm at, I'm at, I am at the station. Uh huh. I am at the station at this moment. Yeah. So what's been going on? So what's been going on? Is this phone bug? Uh, why, why do you ask that? Oh, I, no reason. I'm just joking around. I'd like to buy some marijuana. <laughs> Certainly, um, uh, certainly. I'll, I'll put you in touch with our man. He's, uh, don't worry about him. He's a student. You can tell, he'll, he'll meet up with you over by the sub tonight with the stuff. What's he look like? Well, you'll, you'll be able to identify him by his crew cut hair, his crew cut hair, his aviator dark sunglasses, and his shiny patent leather shoes. Leather shoes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a trap. Hey there. Dance with me. Come dance with me, woman. The Italian Stallion Sinatra. Hey, what a guy, man. He's my favorite. He's my favorite. I, I love him in Godfather. I thought he was incredible. I mean, who would believe he was friend that Sunday? <laughs> solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of... I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. Reagan, do solemnly swear. Swear, 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 swear. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. This couldn't have happened in this country. And this? I've got no idea. I was about to say the same thing to you. Oh, it goes to make you happy, it is. Right. Enjoy your lunch. Fresh good. I said, don't ever stay in a place that white folks can surround it. I said, don't ever stay in a place that white folks can surround it. I said, don't ever stay in a place that white folks can surround it. I said, don't ever stay in a place that white folks can surround it. <laughs> we have a bird, a duck, a cat, a duck, a cat. 
A duck, a cat, shooting began you see then that mob grew in size it grew in anger and it became even more violent as men and women who believe in and support the air force way of life then the wild dog relaxes and they play the urge to kill the urge to kill 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 If they had, for instance, a family with radiation sickness and at some point uh, the father killing members of the family and then taking his life, I... Uh, the... the... Uh, uh, the... the... Uh, yes, ours, a small, small world with strange behaviors. <laughs> Air Force way of life. Air Force way of life. We're here today again. Have you got yeah. Mike mic'd? Uh, <laughs> oh, the tape's rolling. rolling. What a change in pace. Yes, now we're going to begin a story written by all three of us. We're all pals, you know, and we write these stories at home by the fire while having a warm cup of cocoa and some cookies. And what is the name of the story? The name of the story is Along the Road. And Mike will begin. One day, there were three people, and they were walking along the road. Then they came across a small cottage. They went into the cottage and noticed that several people in the cottage had been smoking and drinking that night. 
They were watching a small box in which two subhuman species, only about nine inches tall, were slamming into each other repeatedly with heavy blows when they went and looked in the closet. And there, much to their surprise, was one of those very same creatures. He came out and started smashing things up. First he smashed the kitchen table. He threw it against the wall. And then he smashed the wall itself with his fist. And then he turned around and said... Hi, everybody. I'd like to sell you some used underclothes. And uh, along with that, I'd like to smash you a little and maybe tie you up. Wow, that sounds great, Uncle Joe. Do you have any of those uh, used Princess Diana underclothes? That's what I want. Just at this moment. My boyfriend would be so lucky. Maybe on the road. As he stepped along the cobblestones, past the red picket fence, he noticed his friend Potty wandering along the road. Said to Potty, let's go get that dog that lives next door. Let's go get that dog that lives next door. Stones, tromping pad after pad on the ground. Their Their dust dust being so engraved in his threads, his threads being the pads of his feet in no form or way clothing. He had simply an old coat that someone had taken off a bottle or on his back. One of the old that used to wrap around Johnny Walker bottles and keep them nice and snug in wintertime. What he saw on this road surprised him, <laughs> and I think it'll surprise you as well. Pat, 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 pat. They came to the blue pickup truck and tried to enter the rear compartment. Inside, there was a small triangular building with three glowing orbs floating above it. They wondered if it was something from outer space. But they couldn't be sure. This pickup truck was parked in a small, narrow parking lot on the Zuma Beach side of the road. Slowly, kelp beds moved towards the beach in the surf. Little fishes were swimming by, swish, swish, swishing their tails. It was the little Kalawiwi of Hawaii who had migrated to Santa Monica on vacation with his cousin. He had taken an airliner originally, stowed away in the back compartment, filling a sink with water. But then it said that the Kuiwi of Hawaii can be put in suspended animation. It's written by, it's produced suspended by, animosity. it's arranged by, by direct, 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 and close in the back. They did it then and waited Said, I can't read it. Well, Poopsie, you weren't a, ever really taught to read, so uh, 
you know, we don't really expect that from you. Wait a minute, minute. no, no, I don't think this is working here. I think they should know that. Suddenly, Suddenly Poopsie, Poopsie says, 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 Well, Pugly, well, Pugly, well, Pudgy, well, Pudgy. <coughs> Suddenly, Poopsie said, Well, Pudgy, let's go and drive the truck ourselves. We'll start up and drive down the road till we get to the town. You mean Skittleville? <laughs> I love going to Skittleville. The hungry houses waiting to eat up the next row of suburban families that decided to move. They drove down the hill and across the big steel bridge that lie at the outskirts of the town, then down a small row of houses till they got to the Burger King, where they turned right and entered another small cottage. Well, I wish our cottages could be as cozy as this one it is really nice, especially the pictures you have on the walls. Those are really nice. Did you crochet those yourselves? Are these something you bought somewhere from? Are these perhaps a gift? Sweet home crocheted pattern. I couldn't believe it. It just blasted right through. It broke the glass, glass shattered all over the place, and that orb kept going to the other wall. You made the car pop and then spread me out into the sky again. And we did take a picture too, and I had some cards up and so just there was the dollar piece. These are genuine reprints of the orb. And she should. Terry Wilson says. Buy these tortillas, and you'll have better tasting tacos. Well, I think it depends on the ground. Uh, I don't really know what, what they mean by Well, they well, did. They it was fun. fun. It was something I, you know, we they needed the money. They needed the money. It was so, I was not. A, I was. I. I would even leave fifties hanging out of my pocket so little children could take them home and get as much candy as they wanted to you know, and comic books. Guys like you, you know, living in the neighborhood. You know. Well, you know, I grew up in Iannisport and I know where it's at. I. I, I that I. My neighbors were the candy. Man. My neighbors. It's a beautiful day. Would you be mine? 
It could be fun to hear my God. And if you want relatives down on your luck, want some relatives' phone numbers, call lineage numbers here at our very own house in Hoboken, New York. And it will be used and numbers of some relatives in the big cities of death. Responsibility in mind, don't you? The fact is that we are all just a bunch of sophisticated genetic defects. How very true. No friend of mine would be. I'm no kin of the monkey. <laughs> Give that man a mic, Mike. Mike. B. 
be careful. 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 I've never seen it. Fly me to Havana. By the grassroots from 1964. Oh, that's the Suddenly they realized how polka had always <coughs> been meaningful to them, even though they had lost sight of the original. <laughs> For that matter. A lot of you like the buddy trick. <laughs> We've heard many pockets. <laughs> That's why they call it a closet. <laughs> Because some of you haven't noticed. 
Send us your money, send us your food, don't buy this, the problem buy is that. The Why, those were the Why days of nickel code. Those were the days of Nickelodeon. When five, <laughs> five and now it's seven eleven. <laughs> Things have left. progressed, haven't they? Could you really call that progression? I'd call it nothing. I'd just like to mention a few times that evolution is important to the average animal. Evolution. Evolution is important to the average animal. Evolution change. I never said that. I never said that. I made no promises. You can feel the soft drink sloshing about your food. Life is many splendid things. once said to me, I believe that money can solve my problems. I believe that money can solve my ills. I believe that money will do everything for me personally. Chuck in a woodcock. Good chuck. Five or ten. We're getting back. Those numbers seem to be in sequence. Say it. Say it again. Five. Not that. The other. Shopping numbers. That the peanut, peanut butter, butter was next to the jelly. Some, Some things, things are, are obvious. obvious. Oh, well, I knew as soon as I walked down the aisle, the lights were shining and the cupboards were open. But never a square aisle. Right, well. This part is this dark out. Juice bar. I was working. We 
had water all over him. It was incredible. They sucked up the water with their sophisticated equipment. It was a lucky thing that we called in the fire department. Because there was a cat in the tree! The cat had slowly drowned because he was above the water. The water had molecules and headed towards the ceiling. This cat, being in a lowly tree, was soon pontificated upon and made to look small in front of the eyes of the other equals. A dose of codeine. Some elves up in a sled, reindeer, reindeer, they're all dead. Let those elves out pushing the snow, pull that sled back to Mexico. He's gotta go. Acapulco fever, Acapulco fever, Acapulco fever. A new movie starring Elvis Presley as Santa Claus. God save Chuck, God save Die, God save little baby in the sky. Hey, you bloody bingo, bring me my cigars. Hey. Evil eyes protruded from behind the bar. Four people suddenly said, God, we're being invaded. This man, this man filled with molecules, molecules in his drink. Was he simply exchanging them for a kitchen sink? He said, wait, honey, I know. Today we'd like to mention that shitty poetry <coughs> is a way of life for many people. Send your contributions here. Just uh, suggest them to uh, your favorite radio station and we will forward all this money to the One cozy cookie batter. The poetry artist to write some of the worst poetry which never gets sold. And they are the ones who really need it. So we will send it over to send it to us. Alright? My uncle, My uncle in Scranton, Scranton the poet. poet. Well, we will send some to your uncle. No, no, he's a real no, poet. poet. He writes a dick dick game. Really, he writes those popular um, crime series? Yes, he did. He wrote several books there. Dick and Jane's Adventures in Manhattan. 
I you may have read this. I heard he was the keypaste dick on himself. Is that true? He plays, maybe. Back and forth, and we've got some friends here getting their hair cut. They're thinking of joining the army. Get a little bit behind the ears there. Stop tape, stop tape, stop tape, stop tape, stop tape, stop tape.